that actually a referral is made to work well, where they get the healthcare support that they need. But as you picked up on, probably the most important thing in that statement was the government was, well, I think the only word for it is bounced into revealing which is the outside company that is responsible uh, for being, or who, who are responsible for the, pay, uh, for the payroll for the uh, armed services has been hacked. The company is called SSCL, uh, and that is, uh, stands for Shared Services Connected Limited. It is a Hertfordshire company. As you mentioned, we've contacted them uh, for comment. I think they've been uh, thinking for days about how to respond publicly to this uh, as well. So they've probably got something uh, very close to being ready uh, for us. They do send it over. Um, and what their website says is, and it's quite interesting, this is just how integral this company is to MOD operations. They boast on their website that they play a central role delivering the MOD's vision to transform core payroll, HR and pension services for 230,000 military personnel uh, and reservists and 2 million veterans and they pay out uh, £9 billion a year uh, in 100 companies. Uh, what's the significance of that? So, this data is simply, we are told, about names, in some cases addresses, and in all cases bank details. But this company works, has several contracts across the MOD and works elsewhere across Whitehall. And I think right now there will be an exercise to work out whether the hack that has happened only pertains to that that we know about, or whether there is any other vulnerability. Quite clearly, I am told, this government is looking very closely at whether or not SSCL has committed any kind of mistake or uh, has um, uh, allowed a vulnerability to creep into their system such that this hack took place. It sounds as if relations between SSCL uh, and the government could get quite sticky. We want to hear SSCL's side of things. Do let us know what you think. Uh, and I think, um, the, but the pressure, I think, actually lies with the government, because in the end, it'll have been the government that decided to outsource this, effectively to a company that allowed uh, the breach to take place, as far as we know. Uh, and that is problematic. And the question is, could it happen again? Uh, and what are the implications? And we are, it feels like, only at the start of the journey of finding that out.